What's up my crypto legends in this episode the dollar index gaining value just at about 1.5% from yesterday okay and why was this because Jerome Powell the chairman from the Federal Reserve at the Funk Press conference did say that interest rates are going to go up by 2023 and also the inflation rate is going to go just to two percent again it is way above two percent at the moment currently at about five six percent or even more than that so he is saying by 2023 all of this will be readjusted and also the interest rates are going to go up and the dow jones had a small correction okay at about 1.5 percent which is a decent correction okay here on the dow jones for one day so if interest rate goes up we know that the stock markets people usually get money out from the stock market especially when we are hitting all-time highs every single month here for the dow jones we'll be taking a look at the dow jones here on the daily chart to see what could happen in the immediate short term some people say that there's going to be a massive crash because we are overhyped okay there is massive bearish divergence also we will see this but i do think that we could still have many many months still on the long run here for the traditional stock markets we'll be taking a look at this we'll be also taking a look at bitcoin eventually and also ethereum are we going to form finally this right shoulder that we were talking about okay yesterday we did talk about this you know potentially coming down to the 2400 dollar range we actually went a little bit below that so what can we expect we'll be taking a look at the charts to see where we can go here for ethereum too Guys, remember if you are interested in trading, make sure to check out my favorite day trading platform, Prime XBT. If you use my link in the description, and Bitcoin Sensor 50 has a promotion code, you're getting 50% in addition of what you deposit. Okay, my favorite swing trading platform is Bybit. If you use my link in the description, you can get up to $1,610 of bonus. I'm getting a small commission. Be careful with trading, guys. Let's go straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I do daily TA on Bitcoin, crypto, sometimes the traditional markets. I'm not financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your research. Let's go straight into the video. Zooming in here on the dollar index, we can see we are pumping quite a bit because of the conference yesterday from Jerome Powell. Now we can see this double bottom scenario that we did mention before on the channel, okay, a few weeks back, you know, that we potentially we were going to create a double bottom here and we are going to have a bounce in the short term. This might not be good for Bitcoin in the short term. So we can clearly see um, the price going sideways, making a double bottom and the RSI creating higher lows, which means that this is exaggerated um, bear, uh, bullish divergence. Sorry, the price is actually creating um, higher lows right over here. But you could say it is it is pretty flat and the RSI is, um, you know, going up here, creating higher low so yeah you could say these are exaggerated bullish divergence so a bounce was expected here and obviously the conference well from Jerome Powell you know helped this bounce to happen is this going to be bad for Bitcoin in the short term yes potentially uh, I also want to um, see here you know because the the trend since March of 2020 okay you know uh, the dollar gained lo lots of value eventually because people in a crash want to go to the dollar so stocks crash you know everything crashes so everybody wants the dollar so the dollar gains a huge amount of value as you can see here in March of 2020 but then eventually when the printing um, starts and everybody knows that there, it's not the end of the world just yet well then eventually the dollar starts losing value here as you can see and what I can see okay in the short term there is bullish divergence but in the mid long term there is hidden bearish divergence okay which means that the uh, price is create well in this case the percentage well the price here of the dollar is doing lower highs okay right up from this point uh, for example all the way to this point if we get a trend line like this we can see that we are creating lower highs okay and the rsi is creating higher highs over here this is hidden bearish divergence okay this is an indicator that the trend is very very likely to continue okay in the long run so we might see some pumps here and then continue to the downside in the next coming months okay this is not guaranteed this is what i can see on the chart but but this would be invalidated as soon as we break the trend line okay we get above this lower high and also this lower high currently at about 94 94.7 so eventually, if this breaks up, even though we break here uh, all the way to extreme bought territory, then this would be invalidated because we are, you know, going higher. 
Could this happen? Yes, because I mean, this is actually getting a massive pump at the moment. This could happen as long as we below this trend line, okay? And the RSI does, you know, go above this area and goes above this higher high, then yeah, obviously this, this is hidden bearish divergence and it, the most likely scenario would be coming straight back down, retesting this as a triple double bottom or potentially breaking, okay, the 89 levels here for the dollar index. Let's go straight into the Dow Jones because this is very, very scary. Um, the Dow Jones is at extreme over bought, okay? Not on the RSI, let's zoom out here on the daily, but making all time highs every single time, every single month, okay? Uh, approximately every single month, every single two months. But we can see the, the, the Dow Jones just gone crazy, okay, since um, the crash in COVID, just like Bitcoin. But there is massive bearish divergence here, as you can see on the chart, okay? Just before COVID, as you can see, we were creating higher highs right over here, okay? This was December and January of 2020, all the way till late February, and the RSI creating lower highs, as you can see. And then we had a massive, massive crash. Eventually, we had the news of COVID, and then there was extreme panic. Uh, this case it might not be the same or similar, but we can also see here that we have been creating, you know, higher highs here on the stock market, on the Dow Jones, and lower highs on the RSI. And yeah, potentially we could have a decent correction here on the Dow Jones because of the bearish divergence. And this has been absolutely crazy. And obviously the Federal Reserve saying that they are going to get interest rates high again, by 2023 it's not going to be anytime soon so i think the investors are going to know um they're going to see that this interest rates are not going to go up you know uh, in the short term so i think maybe the stock market will continue to the upside this is not guaranteed this is only just my opinion so this is what i got for for the dow jones it does look pretty scary with these bearish divergence we might have a decent correction here going to the oversold territory on the daily chart who knows? Uh, obviously, if the if the traditional stock markets have a crash, well, this is not going to be good for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has, has some type of correlation with the stock market. So anyway, let's hope for the best and let's take a look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin here did have the correction as expected also yesterday because of the bearish divergence, RSI going up, uh, down, sorry, and the price going up. We did have a correction. Now we did get supported nicely here from this area, okay? This peak over here, as you can see. So we've got a bounce here from this um, resistance, turning it into support. So just clear, basic technical analysis. We can see, you know, that we've created a high here. Uh, uh, we have had a correction, okay, to the 50% golden pocket um, Fibonacci approximately, and then back up again, breaking this resistance, now turning it into support. So this is basic technical analysis. We have, we have gotten a bounce from here. What can we expect from here? Well, we can see also, you know, all depending on how you put this trend line, because there are several ways. I did not count the wick here on the one hourly chart, but you could count the wick here on the one hourly chart. Okay, if I get this trend line from the wick, and then you know you can readjust to this low over here, then we can see that we've already got a bounce from this trend line. I've counted the wick right there with this higher low, and also it got a bounce here from this higher low, but you could count this also from the body of the one hourly chart, and then you could see that we still have some space to go to the downside. Obviously, it would be good always to, you know, you should always put a trend line uh, slightly below so you can have, you know, a fake out area. This is also, you know, very, very common. So um, here you would say from this point all the way to there and then, you know, create a fake out zone also because we see many, many wicks going up and down from trend lines. So now, as you can see, you got your fake out area. So we are getting a bounce now decently from this support range. What can we expect in the immediate short term? Well, the good thing, the good news here in the short term is that from these lower lows, okay, here on the price, we are creating high lows on the RSI, bullish divergence short term, which are playing out nicely here. So we should be going up a little bit more here in the short term, potentially creating, you know, at least all the way up here, uh, a double top scenario. Are we going to break this area? If you ask me, I do think so. Why? Because I can see this as five waves on Elliott wave theory. If we take the five waves, okay, we are waiting for a fifth wave from this bottom over here. We have one, two, 
three, four, retesting the top of the one wave. I'm expecting maybe some sideways action and then finally, you know, coming at least to retest the $42,000, $43,000 range, okay, creating the fifth wave before having, you know, sideways action and a decent correction from here, you know, we could possibly see an ABC uh, correction kind of thing uh, once we hit the $42,000, $43,000 range. This is what I'm expecting uh, for Bitcoin in the next coming days. Obviously, we are entering the weekend very soon. Tomorrow's Friday. So let's see what is going to happen. I think that this support trend line is going to hold nicely. And yeah, this is what I've got for Bitcoin for today, guys. Remember, if you are interested in trading and you want to take advantage of this incredible bonus of Prime XBT, my favorite day trading platform, if you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code, you're getting 50% on top of what you deposit. You're depositing $10,000, you're getting $5,000 on top of that for free for your buying power, okay? You cannot withdraw this bonus, but you can use it as buying power and withdraw every single profit from there. Also, my, Bybit is my favorite swing trading platform. If you use the link in the description, you're getting the best bonus available, guys. Let's take a look at Ethereum because Ethereum has... Um, gone all the way down below the $2,400 like expected mentioned on yesterday's video. Now the question is, are we going to pick up from here? Well, in the short term, we can see already on the RSI that yes, we are creating higher lows and here the price has been creating lower lows. So we've got some bullish divergence. We've got some bullishness here. This doesn't, um, yeah, this doesn't mean that we are going to go straight up from here. We might have some small corrections from here still, okay, still creating the bullish divergence and um, and then go up. But I think that this inverse head and shoulder that I am expecting will be invalidated as soon as we go below the left shoulder, eventually almost touching the head here. And this could potentially be not a triple bottom because this one is uh, slightly high, but a double bottom scenario from here. I do think that the $2,200 range should hold nicely as support. I am still strongly believing that, that we are going to go up from here to retest the $2,600 range, you know, completing the inverse head and shoulder. And then this would be a critical point. Will this break out to the upside coming to retest the 2,900? Still waiting for this, see if it could happen. If you are aggressive at trading, you know, you could potentially place some long orders here, put your stop loss here behind the head. You know, if you are aggressive, yes, you could do this because then you're risking this, you know, to potentially gain this, which is, which is a little bit more, maybe hold the position, waiting for a breakout here from this inverse head and shoulder. This is going to be it for today's episode. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Center's website you have here great tools, you got news, you got exchange reviews, you got price predictions, you got guides on how to buy Bitcoin, how to trade Bitcoin, okay, we got all sorts here, totally free guide, the link, the link is in the description, so make sure to check it out, take advantage of this webpage, we've got all sorts here, and if you haven't seen my Prime XBT or my Bybit tutorial, there's a video popping up on your screen, massive thank you for tuning in guys, make sure to smash up the like button on your way out, you'll help me out immensely, and I'll see you in the next one.